Archdiocese in crisis after inviting the world's premier pro-death politician to a Catholic fundraiser. And it's A-OK -okay to pray in one southern state. It also looks like Planned Parenthood is not welcome in Singapore. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. The call to relax. Controversy and scandal are in play for the Archdiocese of New York as Catholics from around the world call on Cardinal Dolan to recall his invitation to Obama for this fall's Al Smith dinner. Director of the Archdiocesan Safe Environment Program, Ed Meckman, is telling folks to relax while making the claim on the Archdiocesan website, quote, the dinner is not a religious event in any way. It's a civic political event that raises money for Catholic charitable institutions, end quote. His claim that the event put on by Catholic charities is not a Catholic church event is an answer to Catholic faithful and pro-life advocates around the country criticizing this gesture from Dolan, president of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. As the Catholic Church heads into a legal battle to fight the evils of contraception in the name of religious freedom, Michael Voris has put together a petition asking Archbishop Dolan to cancel his invitation to Obama on the grounds of the malice the administration is showing the Catholic Church. You can sign the petition on our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. Another Obamacare issue, while it's common knowledge that Obamacare will cover contraception and allow for abortion funding, it has recently been revealed that there's one medical concern that it surprisingly doesn't cover, pregnancy. A report in the Washington Post reveals that the health care overhaul gives a safety net for young adults by allowing them to stay on their parents' plan until age 26, just without maternity coverage. While this isn't necessarily a new problem, as businesses currently aren't legally required to offer maternity coverage to dependents, it raises a larger question as to why a wide range of contraception and abortion services to a young woman with the exclusion of maternity coverage. According to a 2007 March of Dimes study, the average cost for maternity care without complications was over $10,500. Missouri reconnects with God. The ballots are in and public prayer is back in the state of Missouri after a public referendum in the Show Me State. The measure passed in a vote by a 5 to 1 margin and popularly known as the quote right to pray amendment protects voluntary prayer in schools and requires public schools to display a copy of the Bill of Rights. Carrie Messer, president of the Missouri Family Network, is thrilled about the new amendment saying religious liberty is not only important to Missourians, but a high priority, too. You may remember the Supreme Court took away the ability to pray in school some 50 years ago with a ruling against mandatory prayer in schools. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, Expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. The chicken or the rainbow? Starbucks National Marriage Equality Day was a complete crashing failure compared to last week's Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. As you re may remember, the international coffee shop conglomerate was chosen by homo homosexual movements because of its support for the gay lifestyle, as it publicly announced last year. More than 585,000 people registered to attend and show support for Chick-fil-A's defense of true marriage. But Starbucks homosexual activism was only able to serve up less than 40,000 supporters on its Facebook page who planned to take part. A difference of over 500,000 supporters. Low blow against Lolo. American Olympian Lolo Jones was blasted by users of a popular social networking site this past Tuesday, blaming her disappointing track and field performance on her virginity. After winning fourth place in the 100 meter hurdles, many of her critics took to Twitter and, using profanity, suggested that if she was sexually active, she may have performed better. In an interview back in May, Jones 
a devout Christian, shared the fact that she's saving herself for marriage, for which many have praised her. She went on to reveal that remaining a virgin has been the hardest thing she's ever done, harder than graduating from college or even training for the Olympics. Sanity in Singapore. A campaign for National Day in Singapore is calling on all citizens to live a patriotic life by bringing more babies into the world. The candy company Mentos is sponsoring the marketing effort, sparked in reaction to the diving child replacement rate in the country since the population only grew by half a percent last year. The government of Singapore values life, even paying new parents thousands of dollars to have children and running a dating service called the Social Development Network. As most countries are failing to replace their populations, Singapore will celebrate its National Day today, utilizing the resources of its country to fight the havoc contraception is wreaking across the globe. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about the mushrooming controversy over Obama, Dolan, and the Al Smith dinner, and what archdiocesan employees are responding. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now churchmilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. Churchmilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.